right, so I'm going to show you maybe how to repair your starter for free or dirt cheap anyway if it ain't working. Like, starter itself most likely is totally fine. It's just if your starter's clicking, like mine was, and it'll start every, start most of the time, but not all the time. So the way it works, this piece is uh, not supposed to be like that. It's supposed to be more thicker like that. So this sits in here, plunger. Yeah, I should take the spring off maybe to show you guys. Just a little spring on there. The plunger sits in here like so. And then when you hit the start button, a magnet pulls that down. And then that makes a connection. But you can see, not really. It's connecting there, but not so much there. A little ball bearing in there too. Make sure you don't lose that. That guy he just sits straight down the hole down there <clears throat> so you can take your your two nuts off and then this piece comes right out and that plastic comes off there and then you can separate these it's just pressed in there Focus. it's pressed in there you can squeeze it out and you can buy these for like 15 bucks online for whatever motor you need you can just get the serial number under there and whatever vehicle you're looking for but I'm gonna try to do I'm gonna try to clean this up with a Dremel put some solder on it and we'll see if that works we'll see how it turns out I'll probably end up just buying buying a new piece there you can buy a whole kit comes with stud gasket new plunger and everything but I'm gonna see what I can do here all right so it turned out pretty good it uh, I tried it with the plunger in there and it makes contact really good if I, I don't run this truck much at all. If I were see, much better, much, much better. If it was my daily driver, I would probably just buy the rebuild kit. But like the, that solder, it's really on there good. So I'm going to try it. We'll see how it works. But there you go. Instead of buying, you know, $200 starter or more. Actually, if you got a factory one, you know, $300 or more. They fixed it for free because... I mean, everything else is like really good shape there's brushes in here they can also replace it comes with a rebuild kit but it's kind of like if you're getting power your starter but it's not turning over this i kind of figured that's what it was but so and then that just goes on there and then your main power wire goes in there and that tells the solenoid to pull this down and once once this goes down you have power in this post once that makes that connection puts power to that post down here down to the motor and turns the motor pretty simple so that's all it is to it man fix it literally for free so okay moment of truth here make sure neutral let's see if she works neutral, neutral. oh yeah fired right up so i'll shut it off again here in a minute uh gotta give credit but one of my good friends like I like echo chainsaws but he loves echo chainsaws I, he has echo chainsaws echo weed whackers full kitted out echo gear he's the one that told me to check that first what he did on his he took a copper pipe bent it and drilled a hole because uh, to get the right thickness you could you, you could use a copper strap too whatever it's copper or you could buy the kit online like 15 bucks probably the best way to do it but this truck i don't drive it that much so that solder should work pretty good let's try it one more time here oh yeah working good brother there you go cheap easy fix instead of buying a multi hundred dollar starter 